This is Bird Array with Shareplex Technical Support. Welcome to the Shareplex video tutorial about how to add and remove a table from replication. We'll talk about components of a config file, required steps to add and remove a table from an active config. What is a config file? Shareplex gets its replication instructions from configuration files, which are user-defined specifications with the objects to replicate and where to send the data. Replication begins when activation completes. You start by creating a config file, which gets stored in the sources vardar config directory. Multiple config files per source instance can be created, but only one config can be active at a time. Multiple config files each replicating a different Oracle instance can be active at the same time. A config file is comprised of a data source, the Oracle set of the source instance, which contain data to be replicated. Source objects are the source database object names with, which contain data to get replicated. A subset or all of the tables and sequences within a source database can be replicated. Target objects are the object names that will receive the replicated data. And a routing map is the route for transporting the data. A basic routing map includes a target system, any intermediate system or named queues, in the Oracle set of the target database. A basic Shareplex config includes the data source O.ORAA, where ORAA is the Oracle set or the TNS entry that is used to connect source object to be replicated as flex.demo source and target object to which the data is replicated to is flex.demo dest and the name of the target database is ORAB. To add or remove tables to an active configuration, go to the sources SP control, copy an existing config file to a new file, issue the copy config file name to new config file, edit the new config file by issuing edit config file name, add, the, add to the config the new, the new source table owner and name, target owner and name, and routing map, save the config file, then, when ready to activate the new config, stop user access to the added table and source if possible. If you cannot stop user access to the newly added source tables, then wait until there is low activity time as Shareplex will need to obtain a brief lock on the source table to add to replication. Issue the activate config for the new config file, activate config config name, and that would do it. Then to remove a table from, from an active config, repeat the process, but instead of adding a new table to the config file, simply comment an existing table and replication, save the config file, and issue the activate config command. The old config will automatically deactivate. Then you would have to sync up the target table either using copy, compare, commands, or any other method you wish to use to resync. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you have, you have enjoyed this presentation. To learn more about Shareplex, please visit our website.